That might be working right there, I think. Anyways, I think it should be in good resolution, 2K resolution. Got my tool, tweezers. Look how little they are. Itty bitty things. That and a good old trusty razor blade. I don't know if I do a slow motion on this or not, but anyway, got a box in with some goodies in it. Let's see what we got here. I got a new project from, uh, looks like Bruce Gibbon in Canada. For good ways for this to travel, but anyway, it is a, a D Star slash DMR. I have to bend down here a little bit. Maybe it's the camera's pointing up there a little bit. But anyway, it's a DMR uh, slash D Star board. And what's going to be hard about it, I got it in, got it in kit form. So here's the kicker. This little bitty board here. That little booger. I don't know if you can see it or not. It looks like it's pretty clear on the thing there. But anyway, that little bitty thing there, which is teeny tiny, if you see my finger, my finger almost covers it. My thumb almost does, anyway. A little bitty board, right? Well, all the components are surface mounted. And guess what? They are tiny. They are itty bitty, itty bitty things that are barely gonna be able to see. And uh, I'm gonna attempt it and see how good I am at surface mounted, uh, surface mounted technology. But anyway, there's probably about, I don't know how many parts there are. I mean, there's like two, or three, four in that one, and there's a bunch in that one. See that little bitty slit, and there's itty bitty dots there. That's the components and little dots. And then components are capacitors, resistors, uh, LED indication lights, and this one here is a via uh, a variable resistor. That one is is actually a tuning pod to fine tune uh, the input output audio I'm assuming to get it just right but basically you take two radios you take a Duino board and you take this board and you got yourself a DMR or D star repeater so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna try it then they're hard to get so I got it in kit form and I got mine quick only bad thing about it is it's gonna take me a while to put all these parts on there so I'm gonna give it a try. We'll see all I see or something over here. Teeny tiny man. It's gonna be fun is all I got to say. Going to be fun. But I'm gonna attempt it. The nice thing about the uh, about the uh, components that he was nice enough to build a uh, a component shopping cart, which is really nice because them numbers that's on here, if you can see them, I don't know if you can see them or not. The numbers that's on there, they're all indicated, and they have a number by each sorter pad, like C6, C1, so C's are the capacitors, and here's one that says R, R5, R6, the resistors. Well, the nice thing about it is, if you look on the package, the package here that contains the part, this one says R20, so this is a resistor, and it's R20, so R20, is right there so all I gotta do is take the part out find wherever it's gotta go and then solder it and I'm good to go so let's get at it keep an eye on it and see what happens here <laughs> well I have got some of it together I've got one two three four five six components on the board finally you can see them. See them right there. Little bitty component right there. I don't even think it's uh, in focus too good there. It might be right about right there. Let me get real close there. 
it's got some flux around. I'll have to clean up the board after I'm done, of course. You know, it's in little brown spots on there. But look how thick they are. They're itty bitty outfits, aren't they? Man, it's fun. It has been a bear. Basically, I'll place the part, hold the part, sort of the part. That's how I've been doing it. So it's been it's been going pretty good. Uh, let's see, the next component is going to be C10, looks like. But yeah, surface mounted stuff is not fun. <laughs> it is a hassle. It is a, hey, there's a big old connector. I can put that on easy. There we go. Do that in a minute. But yeah, it's a challenge. That is definitely a challenge. Here's three resistors. I'll put them on R1, R2, and R3. Where's R1 at? R1 is right. Man, it's even hard to read the pads here, man. There's R4, R5. But yeah, it is. It is fun, 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 fun. There's R1 right there at the top, over by the COS Logic light. See, it's got uh, LEDs. It's got to go in here also, and the LEDs are even tiny too. I mean, they're itty bitty outfits. The LEDs are. Let me open one of these up. Just give you an idea of what I'm having to go through here. I mean, I mean, got to be careful about breathing, man. If you breathe, your air will push the part right off the board, man. It's so tiny and it doesn't weigh nothing. If I can get this off here, I'll put it on the end of my finger and put it up towards the camera and hopefully I won't drop it over here. Man, it's a booger. There we go. Anyway. There it is. There's one. There's three of them in that pack now. There's the part. On the end of my finger. See that little bitty thing, that little speck? That is the part. It's got to go on that board and you got to solder that thing. I don't even think it's focusing there. Probably can't focus on it because it's a fixed camera, action camera. It's not made to do this kind of stuff. Anyway, I'll, I'll put it on the paper here. And I'm going to lay. Let's see. What can I go for reference? Let's see if I got it quarter or something in my pocket. Here we go. There's a nickel. I'm going to lay a nickel down here. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like on camera. Can you see it? Man, it's tiny. That's the nickel. That's the part. Right there, that little speck. That's the actual resistor. Anyway, it's got to go on the board, and it's got to go right there is where it's got to go, where it says R1. Pads are pretty big on this, though. The pads are not too bad, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal on most of the rest of them. But anyway, that's a size comparison. That's a nickel, not a quarter, by the way. Wish me luck, huh? Well, there it is. I got it done. Turned out pretty good. My camera's down here in the angle a little bit, so I'll have to raise you up a little bit. Anyway, it turned out good. Put all the little surface mounted components on there and everything, and everything turned out pretty good. There's the pins on the bottom like they're supposed to be. So everything turned out pretty good, other than one thing. I went through the shopping cart, and the shopping cart was supposed to have all the components prepackaged and labeled where they go. This is all the empty packets. Took all the parts and installed them. And after I was done, I came up with one, two parts back ordered, which I knew about them. I knew they was not going to be there. C8 and C23. So them two components are back ordered. I didn't know about that. But you go down to the bottom of the list here. Let's see where'd it go. Uh, it's on this list. I'm sorry. This is the actual part list. There's some on here that's DNI, do not install, is what that stands for. But R11, R19, R21, and R23. 10K ohm resistor, looks like. 
it was supposed to have been in the shopping cart and apparently it got misplaced so if you're watching this video and you're the maker of the MMDVM board which I ordered from Canada from Bruce Given if you're watching this video I need to you need to update your shopping cart you got uh, four pieces missing off of it and they're the R11 19 21 and 23 10k ohm resistor is missing from the uh, shopping cart other than that though it's a pretty nice little project board and uh, I got it done and hopefully I'll be able to do some DMR and D star pretty soon but anyway let me call DigiKey and get them parts on the way and I'll be almost ready to go I gotta get my Duino uh, and also that's another thing I gotta order but other than that I give it a thumbs up so far I hope, hope it works see you next time